don't exist only in the movies. They're right there on our borders and on the cricket field. And the most flamboyant is standing right next to me. Poster boy, Prince. You, Raj Singh, you are India's most desirable. This is such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Well, we've been your fans since watching you so many years. It really is an honor to be on the show. Thank you so much. But I really wanted to ask you, I mean, here you are, you create euphoria in the nation, you create magic with your bat and ball, and yet cricket was not your first passion. It was skating. Skating was something my dad, uh, father really hated. <laughs> he thought it was a girl's game. I remember when I was a young child and I uh, won under 12 championship, and I brought a gold medal home and he threw my gold medal and skates away. And he said that, Enough of uh, this game, it's time to play cricket now. So your father, Yograj Singh, yes. he, was, he was a cricketer during the time of Kapil Dev yes. and all that, right? Yes. But he faced a lot of uh, rejection and... What I heard that he worked very hard for his game, he was really talented. Uh, but he was, he was a very aggressive person and uh, just did things his own way. Uh, so it was, it was tough on him and uh, he wanted to see himself through... Uh, through me, so he wanted me to play for India. So you, he wanted you to fulfill his dream. Exactly. But uh, apparently, uh, the training he gave you was was pretty tough. Yeah, uh, my dad's friends and people around him call him a Hitler. I remember we had uh, we in my backyard. It was a beautiful garden. My mom had put in plants around. So garden garden sab hata diya. Nets laga diye. Nets laga diye. So it was just cricket 24 hours. He said, he'll kill his girl one day. He was that tough. And I was used to get so tired from the previous uh, training or previous days that I didn't want to get up. And there are times when uh, he used to fill up a bucket of cold water, water and put it in my quilt. So I used to <gasps> get up and start running. I used to hit my dad those times. He says that he feels that in a way he stole your childhood. I wouldn't say that. I didn't like it that time. But uh, I think those sacrifices I made that time, what he, what he made me do, is the reason why I played for India at a very early, very early age. If that hadn't happened, God knows, maybe, you know, I don't know what you'd have been doing. Maybe a struggling model somewhere. <laughs> you know, watching your career, you're so passionate about the game, but you always seem to have to struggle and to prove yourself again and again. Yes. Uh, I think it started in 2009 when I started getting injured. After eight years of playing international cricket, I got dropped mm -hmm. for the first time. So it's really tough and... Uh, I know that in the year 2010, when the BCCI even downgraded your salary, dropped from the Asia Cup. But what I'm trying to say is, for many players, older players, that was actually the beginning of their end. They never came back after that. They just faded away. But did that make you more determined? Yeah, there was a lot of stress. Uh, you know, getting dropped, as I said, getting injured was way tough. But there was a belief inside me that always told me that, you know, I mean, I agree that a lot of people start believing in me. There was a time where I actually thought that, do I want to play anymore? Anymore or quit? Or uh, quit. But uh, I, just, I just thought that, you know, I played for the passion of... I realized what I, why I play cricket. Why? Do I play cricket for, you know, people who are commenting on me? Uh, mm. Do I play for criticism? Or do I play for my own passion? Mm. And just because I love the game. Mm. So I realized that and started to you know, work, work on it. And that time I just realized that now it's time to make a change. What change did you make? Well, I just thought that I'm just going to stay away from my fair weather friends. I was feeling a lot of negativity from certain kind of people. I just wanted to not socialize with them. Yeah, sure. But also I think when, when somebody uh, tries to put you down, you rise up stronger than ever. You have that in you, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's what my father has taught me. God will make you go through this only if you can survive. He said, I've always made you uh, a tough person because I knew these are the obstac obstacles you're going to face in your life. And now it's time for you to rise up. Maybe it's the second beginning of your life and it's time to show the world that what, uh, what you made about. So when you, as the man of the tournament, held that World Cup in your hands one year later, my God, it must have been a double victory for India and for yourself. It was an unbelievable feeling. I can't really describe because I'm sure the whole of India was really happy and the whole of India needed that cup. Can I ask 
you one question. Of course. And you will answer. Yes. In uh, the World Cup, when Stuart Broad was bowling to you, Andrew Flintoff, <laughs> that I can't answer here. No, no. I want to find out. I just need to find out. And I want to show you that moment. And I need you to tell me. You see, he's Two coming up. He's saying something to you. And, uh, Flint off. See? Hold Going the you on and you. on. Now that's, that's huge. you that is are going it's out of up towards him. The umpire is holding you back. <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, he said, where are we going for dinner tonight after the game? Shut up. And I said, you decide. Then he said, he, he suggested me a few places. And I suggested a few places, but the umpire said... You're not going to tell me? <laughs> I asked you, are you going to tell me or not? You see, sometimes on the field, uh, stuff happens. And uh, when you're playing for your country, you can't say those words. Okay. In Can you say all those words, leave out those gaps, we'll beep it out. Okay. He said uh, those were dash ridiculous shots. Because mm -hmm. I hit him for two boundaries in that over. And uh, I said uh, dash you. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, excuse me. I said, you heard what I said. And he said, I will cut your throat off. <laughs> so, so um, I said, you see this bat in my hand? <laughs> so you know where I'm going to hit you with this bat. <laughs> so it was, it was just, it was, it, was, it was a fight. And that got you worked up, didn't it? It got me really worked up. I was really angry and uh, I was, I just wanted to hit every ball out of the ground that, you know, I have to just give it back. And sometimes it's good for you, sometimes it backfires you. But on that day, I think it backfired them. It backfired them and it was so good for you because just look what happened. One. That's huge. That is a piggy. It's out of here. Two. Six ball. Look at him. <laughs> and away she goes into the crowd. और गुस्से में किया। बहुत गुस्से। Will it make a difference? It doesn't. It's four in a row. Five. Yes. Look at them. Hunky with one ball to go. Could he make it six out of six? Here goes Brock. Last ball of the inning. And he's put it away. But tell me, cricket is about sweat and slog and blackboards and statistics. Is there any room for prayer? Do you ever pray before or during a game? The most of the time, because your heartbeat is so fast. You know, there are bowlers who are bowling 150 k's yeah. an hour, and some spinners are turning the ball really uh, far away. So you pray and you say, "Just God," you say whatever whatever prayers, or say, "God, take of take care of me inside there." So prayers are always there. I can imagine. But tell me, which bowler do you dread facing? Uh, Murli Dharan was one bowler I hated to face because I couldn't understand which way the ball was going. And uh, Glenn McGrath, I'm glad he retired. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the two bowlers which I never wanted to face. And uh, who, which batsman's wicket do you crave? Was isko out karna hai? Kevin Peterson. Why? Because he called me a pie chucker. He said, the way I bowl, it's like pies coming towards him. <laughs> so I just love taking his wicket. Have you got his wicket pretty often, now? Yeah, I've got him out six, seven times. He mm -hmm. hates getting out to me and uh, he doesn't like it. And every time they ask him, that, why do you get, him, get out to him all the time? He <laughs> say, he's, he's, he's not a good bowler, he's just a pie chucker. You know, what's not widely known is that actually, I mean, before skating and all happened, you acted in uh, two Punjabi films. Yes, I did, but I hope you don't have those clippings. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, thank God. How I wish I did. <laughs> oh. But uh, are you planning to make a comeback? Maybe when I retire, maybe, I don't know. But when you retire, it will be very late then. Uh, yeah, I know it'll be late, but I can do a lot of makeup and, you know. 
would you cast opposite you? Cast opposite? Definitely Akshay. Akshay opposite you? Oh, no, I mean... <laughs> it's gonna be a dostana. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think... Uh, I think I would love to act against Kajol. Okay, any guys, any suggestions who you think he should act opposite? <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> In today's day and age, who do you think has redefined their status to become a symbol of desirability? One of my mates is Mr. Zaheer Khan. And uh, Virat Kohli is one of the youngsters who's doing really well. Yes. These two guys are stepping up the bar every time. And what about captaincy? Wouldn't you like to captain mm. India? Yeah, it's, it's every cricketer's dream to be the captain of India. But at the moment, somebody's going, doing a really good job. So, but if it comes to me one day, I definitely accept it. Well, I, we all hope that it will come to you, and I'm sure that it will come to you. Thank you very much. But nothing came easy. He fought back each time. He won his spurs. And that is the spirit of a winner. That's you, Raj. When you come back, you'll meet the woman in his life. There was one girl who came all dressed up like a bride, you know, and she, like, when I opened the door, she touched my feet and this and that, and she's telling you, I'll, I'll marry you, this and that, do whatever you want, but just keep me in the house, don't send me away. Renault Fluids presents Simi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Renault Fluids presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. I'm facing India's all-rounder, Yuvraj Singh, except he seems to be facing me tonight. <laughs> so I want to now look into his heart and see who lives there. Who lives in your heart, Yuvi? Uh, that would be my mother. I thought so. <laughs> so, let me introduce Mrs. Shabnam Singh, Yuvraj's mother, his inspiration and the umpire in his life. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> she is your inspiration. I think the sacrifices she's made to bring me up, uh, only a mother can do that. And it's just, uh, you know, the bonding I have with her, it's, it's very special. I'm thankful to God to have a mother like that. Your parents separated when you were quite young. Yes. Apparently, it was your idea that yeah, I mean, I was about 14, 15, and uh, it, was, it was getting tough to be in that atmosphere. Because when your parents are always fighting, it's not good for you. You know, I was struggling, and I was playing at the same time. So it was really, a really tough time for the family. So I, I gave them an idea, it's better to separate rather than, you know, causing uh, such pain uh, for, for the kids or for the people around us. You know, people speculate who you are, what kind of a person you be is. I thought, you know, let me just ask his mother. She'd know best. I don't think so. I could ask for a better son. I always wanted to have a daughter, but uh, he doesn't make me feel key. I don't have a daughter because he's so affectionate, so good and, you know, so loving. I just want to say one thing. Why She doesn't need a daughter. She treats me like a daughter, so it's fine. <laughs> what do you mean she treats you like a daughter? I mean... The way she eats at time, how many are you going, how many are you going. Daughters have more that, that what time you're going, what time you're coming back. So, so it's, it's just the love of the mother. But you listen to her? Of course I listen to her. She always complains that I don't listen to her, but I always listen to her. What does losing do to you? Uh, shatters you for a moment. I'm stressed, I eat a lot. I eat a lot of craft food and uh, I abuse all my close friends. See, he hates to lose. When, he, when uh, UV loses, trust me, he's the most uh, grumpy boy around, you know. So we just leave him alone, you know. It takes time, you know, for him to come out, you know. He doesn't talk to anybody. He just goes into his own shell. When you're going through a low, what does she say? How does she deal with you? She always says that, you know, you're a good person. You never harmed anyone. Mm. 
and uh, she always gives me good books to read and tries to show me that all good people suffer more than the bad people. But eventually, good things will co come back to them. Encourages you, makes you feel good. I, I spoke to her. He hates this word, you know, my saying, Acha sab theek ho jayega. He says, don't repeat this, you know. He says, I'm just sick of it. So I sometimes have to keep quiet. Sometimes I have to motivate him. And, you know, that's how it goes. He reads a lot of spiritual books. So that's uh, one of the sides which UV people don't know about UV. But he, he reads a lot. Tell me, do you feel uh, misjudged? Oh, I am badly misjudged by, by the media. Uh, you know, there's a different perception about me that, you know, I'm very different from what I am as a person. There are times criticism which is judged with your personal life. But uh, UV, that's what gives you the glamour image as well. Definitely, I agree. When you are not playing well, mm. it should be that you're not playing well. It should not be... You're not playing well because... Of, you so know, so-and-so. So -and -so. He's been like... Um, uh, accused of so many things which he hasn't done, you know, he just does it in, you know, even if he's talking to somebody, the whole issue is just blown out of proportion. I don't know why. So it really hurts. It hurts her more because she's, she, she, I'm a part of her soul, you know, I've, mm. I've come out of her, so she protects me like her own self. Mm. So it's, it bothers her more than, I always tell her, relax mother, it's okay. But is it true she never come, never watches you bat? She can't watch me bat. She gets very nervous when I'm batting and she starts praying as soon as I'm on the crease. It's very normal for parents. With the father, it was a different case because if I get out, he's going to get after me and run after me with a bat. So that way I used to get more, more nervous and get out. Did he ever hit you? Uh, he tried to, but I was very quick, so I used to run away from, from the room or from the field. Okay. But it doesn't matter to you that she gets nervous when you play your pranks on her? No, when I play my pranks, she's, she, she's, she loves it. He's a big prankster. Now, I've, you know, like sometimes he really scares me. Once I was sleeping at 2 o'clock in the night, I heard a knock at my door, you know. And I opened and he had this funny mask and he's standing there, you know. So I almost got a heart attack. I said, you want your mother to live or you want her to die, you know. I said, I can't take your pranks anymore. You do it with your uh, boys out there, it's fine. But don't scare me at 2 o'clock in the night or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, mother. <laughs> it must be great fun being a handsome bachelor cricketer, is it? Yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, I, no complaints, but uh, it's just nice to understand what your fans uh, mean to you. When I was growing up, I was uh, also mad about uh, somebody. So Ooh. I was a uh, crazy fan of Pooja, but. So when I was when I was a young child, hugs. yeah. So I always wanted to go and hug her, but did you ever get a chance? When I got the chance, she was in front of my face. She was hugging someone else. So I think it's not a good idea right now. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever get a chance to talk into Kajal? Yeah, I did. I did. I told her that when I was when I was a young kid, I came to take your autograph, but I just couldn't get uh, uh, through to you because the cr because of the crowd. Oh, so you didn't? Uh... No. So you never got uh, very far with your little crushes? Not really. Sad stories? Yeah, I was, I was a very shy boy when I was young. Yeah. I used to be very hesitant to go and talk to girls. Mm. And uh, yeah, it just it used to take me a whole day to think that what I'm going to go and say to her. And practice. Practice, practice. And uh, every time I used to meet her, I would say, uh, and he never used to come out. <laughs> My friend used to tease me all the time that this is a little kiss about the Oti. And when did it change? Oh, uh, it changed. Uh, one of my seniors, his name is Amit Sharma, one of my colleagues. Hmm. I'm sure he will not like when I say this on TV. He said to me that, Kya hoga? Jaza nahi hogi na? Ek bari baat to karke dek. Jo bolna bol de. So I think uh, that was a valid point. I never thought about it. There was one girl who came all dressed up like a bride, you know, and she, like, when I opened the door, she touched my feet and this and that, and she's telling you, you yeah, I'll, I'll marry that. you, this and that, do whatever you want, but just keep me in the house, don't send me away. Like, we were both so shocked. And then when I had one alone in uh, Chandigarh, there was one girl who would come every day, and she insisted that she was Yuvraj's wife, you know, and she needed to be taken care, and like, you know, these girls, the way they behave sometimes. But you're single right now? Yes. No romantic uh, relationship? No, at the moment. Don't you miss the nagging of a woman? Oh, trust me, I do. But you've had some uh, 
high profile relationships that have had a lot of public attention. Yes. Uh, do you take your relationships seriously or is it just fun at the moment? Well, I've been in three relationships mm -hmm. and it's, one's been four years, five years and three years. Yeah, that was long. So it's one relationship when I was about to get married but things didn't work out. Oh, really? So yeah, I mean, um, when I get a relationship, I'm a very serious person and I give my time and I don't muck around. I mean, people have always this image about me that I'm a playboy, I'm a Casanova, yes. which I'm not really. I'm just a normal boy who likes to live a normal life. Have you been through a heartbreak? Yes, I have been. It's very hard. It's very tough to come out of it. Because that time I was just speaking in my career and I was breaking up, so I was... This was the girl you were nearly married? Yes. And she's been the main love of your life, would you say? Yes, she's married now, so it's not good to talk no. about her right No, don't talk about I'm talking about your experience only. It was great at the start, but, uh, you know, as I said, love is not always enough. You need to be compatible to each other to be to lead a life together. Hmm. And I thought that was very hard for us to do that. But you learn, you grow as a person in every relationship. Hmm. And you try not to do the same mistakes in your next one. But tell me, do you want to get married? Yes and no. When I see, uh, you know, my parents' marriage, I don't think it's a good idea. I see a lot of my friends getting divorced. I think it's not a good marriage. But I think everyone says, you should eat one time. <laughs> so I think, yeah, in time, when but I want to find the person mm. who I want to be with, who I love, not, I don't want to be, get into an arranged marriage because I'm just not that, that kind of a person. What kind of a husband do you think you'll be? So I think I'll be very respectable and loving and, uh, yeah, there'll be a problem with romance, but I think I can fix it. <laughs> what romance problem? Oh, uh, saying I love you 10 times in a day. You'll have to say it. I can say it, I can say it 10 times, but then they say you don't mean it. No, that's also a problem. So how do you mean it? And, uh, you know, bringing a lot of flowers, going for dinners. I just... Problem. I told you, a difficult person to live with. A last message from your mother for this show. I just wanted to say that you made me a very proud mother and I'm indeed very proud to have a son like you. And I just wanted to tell you that uh, please do not feel there's any kind of pressure for you to get married from my side. I want you to find the right girl and the right girl who's your soulmate. It doesn't matter whether it's two years or three years, just take your time to settle down. I hope you do everything sensibly like you've been doing. Thank you, Mother. You're the best thing in the world. Yes, it's a proud mother and a proud nation. Come back, Personality Cafe is next, and with UV, it's sure to be fun. See you. Among Deepika and Kim, who has been more caring girlfriend? Are you sure that both of them are my girlfriends? <laughs> Renault Fluence presents Simi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Renault Fluence presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Welcome back. Yuvi and I are waiting for you because we want to enter the Personality Cafe. Okay, Yuvi, we know that you're an outstanding all-rounder. Great batsman, bowler and fielder. Now we're going to test your abilities. You have to play single-handedly against our college team here. They have put their names into a bowl and you have to pull out their names and they will ask you a question. Okay. You can use defensive tactics or attacking tactics or if you drop a catch, it's a penalty. 
and I'm the umpire, I am going to call out the runs. Okay? okay. Right. So if you're ready, you're not nervous. A little bit. I bet you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're ready, we are going with the truth bucket. Mansi. Hi, Yuvraj. Hello, Mansi. Uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate you for winning the World Cup. Thank you very much. Okay, my question to you is that um, if you had to choose one thing, what would it be? Uh, finding your soulmate or um, being the captain of Indian team? At the moment, it would be finding my soulmate because <laughs> you know, captaincy is not in my hands. But I think uh, finding the soulmate would be uh, you know, I can have an input in that, so I would say that. That was a good question, though. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> Malvika. Hi, Yuvraj. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hello, Malvika. Well, Yuvraj, I should say you're looking as charming as you look on field. Thank you. And I must <laughs> say that was the best smile of the day. Thank you so much. And also, I love you a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Love you, too. Okay, now the question is, uh, uh, you need to answer it in like uh, five seconds flat. You don't have more time. Uh, dedicate a song to Dipika Padukone. Okay, I win a penalty. Out. <laughs> I'll take a penalty. Cool. Come on, you can dedicate a song. But it, it was five seconds. We'll give him another five. Give him another five. Five, four, three, two, dum one. Dum maro dum. Dum maro dum. gum. Bolo subhasha. Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. <laughs> you just don't want me to do a penalty, do you? I just wanted to hug you. She has a penalty now. No, yeah, penalty. Has, no, she don't have a penalty. So you can't hug me. Okay. Thank you. Afterwards. He'll get a lot of hugs afterwards. I'll see you afterwards, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Naveen. Hi, Sibu, ma'am. How are you? Hi, well, thank you. Ma'am, you're looking beautiful. Oh, how sweet. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, Yuvraj. How are you doing? How are you, buddy? Good, fine. Uh, how you am I looking? <laughs> I'm just coming to that. I'm just coming to that. Okay, thanks. You know, dude, I really like your personality. Even my mom is a big fan of yours. When she watches you over the TV, she utters, you know, just two sentences. What a personality this guy has. What a passion, what a fire this guy has for game. And I seriously, I'd wish, I, I make <coughs> a wish to God, God, in my next birth, please make me Yuvraj Singh. Thank you, Naveen. Uh, uh, my question to you is, uh, under whose guidance did you enjoy playing the most? Whether it's Saurav Ganguly or MS, MS Dhoni? I started my career under Ganguly and I got a lot of support because uh, I was early days for me and uh, you know I was struggling a bit so I think he had, I had great support from him and under MS I think I've had my best years. You know somebody says come on choose one so who will choose uh, MS Dhoni or you? Uh, it's it's tough to choose because you know I've really enjoyed playing under both of them. So. Penalty! <laughs> come on you I just won. Saurav is the one who started playing under so I think it, I'll say it's Saurav Ganguly. Cool. Thank you so much. Insiha. Cricketers and actresses, they're always being linked. So if you had to date someone from Bollywood, who would it be? Kajol. Of course, she's my favorite. No, from current Bollywood. That's, uh, that's single or single, basically. Hai na? <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> the umpire is looking at his watch. Penalty! You're gonna come and stand here? I want you to mimic Sachin asking her for a date. Uh. <laughs> Ayla? <laughs> okay, how would Bhaji say it? He said, Kudye. Chalegi mere naalu. And sing a romantic song that will woo this beautiful girl. 
गुलाबी आंखें जो तेरी देखी I would like to give you a present. Okay? Okay, here's a personally autographed hamper by Yugi. It will be a boon to your care and your history. Thank you so much. Kushbu. Good evening, uh, Simi ji. Firstly, you're looking gorgeous as ever. How oh, sweet! Thank you. So, hi. It's a refreshing change to see you like this off the pitch. Sometimes. Thank nice you, Kushbu. Nice to Gushbu. see you here. Thank you. Oh, uh, and uh, that was a beautiful mother and son relationship that I just yeah. saw touch for that one. Thank you. Are you on friendly terms with Kim and Deepika, or are you totally cut off? Like. I am friendly terms with everyone. <laughs> That's the penalty. Why? I said everyone includes both of them also, no? I uh, know. That's very diplomatic. Yes, I am friendly terms with uh, yeah. no one you. of them. <laughs> Meeta. Hi, Abhiraj. You're looking really hot. Thank you, Meeta. Uh, well, my question to you is: um, Is it better to score a sixer than a hot date? <laughs> well, if you score a sixer, you'll get a hot date. <laughs> Amrita. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi, Yuvi. Hi, Amrita. Okay, firstly, whenever I see you on the ground, the only thing that I wish to say is, "Hi, koi to roklo." Okay, now my question That's to you. Easy. I don't know. You saying it for you or for me? For you. <laughs> You're just too hot. Thank you. Okay, my question to you is, among Deepika and Kim. Who has been more caring girlfriend? Are you sure that both of them are my girlfriends? Yeah. Are you hundred percent sure? Yes. Okay. So, what was your question again? Among Deepika and Kim, who has been your more caring girlfriend? Kim. Oh. Thank you. It's Taran. Sashikal Baji. Sashikal Baji. I got a request, you know. Uh, can I just please come there, hug you, and have a little bhangra step with you? All right, yar. All right. What the girl's name uh, would start with? Yes, yeah, let's try it out. Oh wow! A. Actually, I was about to say A. a. I just I think there's an A here too. <laughs> <laughs> Renault Fluids presents Simi Selects India's most desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Renault Fluids presents Simi Selects India's most desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Welcome back. We're still with Personality Cafe. You said finding a soulmate is more important to you than being a captain. Yeah, at the moment, I, of course, I think so. I would say so. Okay, so shall we look into the future and find out when that soulmate is coming? Yeah, definitely. You're interested. We yeah, are for sure. Okay then, let's bring on the crystal ball. I'd like to introduce you to Monica Batani. 
Hello. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She too. has these special powers and she can look into your future and tell you everything that's going to happen in your life. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll start. Okay. This is a crystal drop which will give me symbols, signs, some type of numbers, alphabets. So let me do a general Ooh. reading for you. And if you have any questions, then you can ask me. Okay. See, the general reading is saying about your career life. This year till December, it's going to be a little up and down. Again? A little bit, a <laughs> little bit. A okay. uh, little bit health issues it's showing, but you will be able to come out of it. Somewhere around December is showing a good time after December. Why? Because 1 and 2, I can see. That's 12. 12. Around December, he can find some good changes, positive changes happening in his life. Can I tell you something very interesting? Yes. He's born on the 12th of December, which is the 12th month of the year. And he was born at 12 o'clock and in sector number 12. Oh, wow. To me, that's very impressive. So 12 number is lucky for you. Yes. So 12 number is always lucky for you. So 2012 should be very lucky. Very lucky for him. Yes. Hopefully. Do you have anything to ask me? I just want to ask, uh, as I discussed with Simiji about my soulmate. Yes. When, oh. when do you think I will meet her? Okay, let me ask the crystal ball. Okay. See, so I can see small, small hearts, but very far and distant. This, mm. So maybe somewhere around next year, that's 2012. So somewhere around 2012, you may find some soulmate. Next year, not too far. Yes, not too far. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us anything more about the girl? I can see only a fig or, you know, a lady standing with the long hair. Mm. I can give you a just description about that. Can you tell me, will she talk too much or... <laughs> will she talk too much? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very difficult, uh, tricky question. We <laughs> can't tell. <laughs> tell or, yeah. When do you think my injury prone period will end? Yes. Again, two, three months. Do you get disturbed sleep in the night? Yeah, most of the times. Because I could see a person sitting on the bed, but very much disturbed. Mm -hmm. So it's half sleeping and half sitting. Yeah. That's why yeah. I'm asking Is you. Is that true? It happens sometimes. Uh, sometimes because of playing and traveling, mm. different beds. So you don't get good sleep. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what about his future? Do you see Captain C in the crystal ball? Oh, <laughs> uh, see, at present, though, I you know, I don't no know. Sign. <laughs> There's no, no, there are signs, but maybe because of your health issues and all, you are not being able to concentrate fully, focus on your career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe when next year is going to be a good thing for you. But it, this uh, sign of Captain C is at present, I cannot see anything cup or anything which can relate to it. Ah. Can you see what the girl's name uh, would start with, or doesn't the crystal ball tell you? Uh, sometimes it's it yes. Sometimes, sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Let's try it out. Oh wow. E. Actually, I was about to say A. a. I just got the feeling A. Even I was about to say there's one A alphabet, one S alphabet. So. No, I just got the power. Of I, a, you know. It. You just took it from my yeah. mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I felt it. A. I think there's an A here too. <laughs> yes, some I, some one alphabet is around A, and the other alphabet which I can see is S. Yes. Amrita Singh. That I don't know, but and maybe her last name will be yes. S anyway. Yes, yeah. When she marries him. Say, yeah. Oh. Correct. That was I didn't uh, that didn't come to me. So. No, but see, I think so much for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see kids, lots of kids, because he, he loves kids? Maybe one or maximum two, not lots. Two is very good. Two is good, yeah. Two is Hopefully two a boy and a girl. Two children, you can see oh, playing. Yeah, you can hope. Yeah. Oh, two children are playing. Yes. That's good. Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think of the reading? I think absolutely bang on. Perfect. Thank, Thank you very so much. Well done. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Fluence presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer.
Renault Fluids presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Happy you're back. Aren't you happy they're back? Very happy. <laughs> Especially there, right? <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, now is the time to give back to the world. Okay, I want you to make a self-portrait and we're going to auction it on the net. Come yeah. along. to our website, which is www.starworld.in slash SSIMD. Make a bid. This is an original, and you'll get a chance to own a UV original. So, guys, I want to hear it from you. Is he your inspiration? Yes! Is he your hero? Is he your object of desire? Yes! Okay then. Yuvi, for all the times that you made us hold our breath and then you took our breath away, you are India's most desirable 2011. Thank With my love much. and warmest. Broad was bowling to you, Andrew Flintoff. <laughs> that I can't answer here. No, no, I want to find out. I just need to find out. Those were dash ridiculous shots. Because oh. I hit him for two boundaries in that over, and uh, I said, uh, dash you. <laughs> Turn him around like a girl. Aja, turn, turn, other side ja. Aray, turn kar yaar. Aja, aja. Abhi tere ko main romance karunga. Aise. Niche gir ja, niche gir ja, niche gir ja. Abhi, oh ho ho. 